I want this hand right here to represent you and me, and I want this wallet to represent all of our sin. The Bible says that God loves us but hates our sin. There's a lot of churches, a lot of people that say, well, if you just turn over a new leaf, somehow God will, will love you more. But God loves his enemies. He loves his own, but he loves everyone. How can the greatest love ever shown in the world be improved upon just because you went to church? Or maybe just because you got water baptized? Or because you get, I threw 20 bucks in there, God loves me more. Oh, really? Throw 20 billion in there, God's not going to love you anymore. I might love you a little more. <laughs> but God will not. Because it's amazing love. Here we are with our sin. And the Bible says that this sin must be paid for. This sin right here brings separation. If you were to pay for this sin, you'll be separated from God forever because you're paying for your sin. The Bible says that the wages of this sin is death. Someone has to die. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came to this earth to die on the cross to pay for your sin. Because he loved you. Because of his amazing grace. He came to die on the cross to pay for our sin. And so you might ask, well, then how do you get to heaven? The Bible says, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves. It doesn't say, for by grace are you saved through water baptism. Or for by grace are you saved through church membership. For by grace you are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Jesus Christ came to die on the cross for our sin. He was buried and he rose again the third day, proving that his payment was sufficient. It truly was finished, wasn't it? When he died on that cross, he paid for all of your sins, past, present, future. There's nothing you can do that will ever shake the grace of God. He loved us so much, he died for us. And you know what's interesting? There's nothing you can do to ever lose it. You can't gain that love and gain that assurance by something you do, and you can't lose that love by something you don't do. You are secured, kept saved by the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. I'm so thankful for that. If you're here today and you haven't trusted Christ as your Savior, in the quietness of your own mind, if you say, that, Lord, the best thing of how I believe Jesus died for me, I believe he was buried, and he rose again the third day. If it wasn't for the resurrection, we wouldn't have a Savior. 